Kajado County, what can also be termed as Maasai country, heat, dust, bear no hindrance to their celebration of their culture. But one cultural practice still plagues the community negatively. Going under the knife, a reference to a very simple kitchen tool but for girls here in Entosopia, Kajiado County, and for over 100 million girls in Africa, the use of this knife could change your life forever. We met Elizabeth Mbeya, a mother of four whose life changed after undergoing circumcision. <laughs> This is an all too familiar past. These memories are etched in Elizabeth's life forever. But they were memories birthed through the hands of a former circumciser, Esantei Bebe. <laughs> I'm very grateful because we have stopped this practice. We vowed to stop the practice and instead bring books and pens. She is a former circumciser turned traditional bath attendant. Like her orientation into the cultural practice, Esante fumbles explaining her stance against the vice. But there is a song to sing as they usher FGM out. Cultural leaders have also, through the support of Amref Health Africa, taken a stand for freedom of the girls. For Elizabeth, however, her decision is clear. After a spiritual rebirth, she chose to be an agent of transformation for girls. She works to change the fate of girls who, like herself, had no one to fight for their rights. At 16, in Standard 6, Lynette Nanyori takes on homestead activities. Eliza. She's under the care of Elizabeth Mbeya as her guardian. As a young girl in Gurumani and Tosopia, Lynette's choice to go against culture is costly. She has seen her peers suffer as a result of undergoing the cut. And with the future of girls at risk, Elizabeth has taken it upon herself to save them from her own fate. Asa kwa miko maisha yangu nikaona sita kaa hivyo. Nitasomesha mtoto wangu ili asije kuwa kama mimi. Ama asije kuwata ni mifugo kama vile mimi nafuata. The blessing is starting. Afonde. A ceremony of blessing and Sue's allowing the girls to choose. 
flanked by their forefathers, spoken for by their brothers. It is a different day that could mean the beginning of freedom for girls like herself. A blessing from their father could be the beginning of their long walk to freedom. Barry Laura reporting for Ebru Africa, Kajado County.